It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, where we'll get a rematch of the first ever Super Bowl. It's the Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers on Monday night. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Tonight we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you tie in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Set to go in a rematch of what would come to be known later as the first Super Bowl. The Chiefs and Packers are underway. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. have the first a good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football the right side the offensive line often known as the nasty side the left side usually the technical side kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009 2010 that's how they constructed their offensive line flushed out right and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole he'll get five out of the scramble hit second down and that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Far throw taken in by Adams. That one a first down pickup of eight. Up the middle they go. It's green. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. They'll break the huddle and come out with four receivers, three of them to the right side, second and seven. From the gun, it's far. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 32-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 
Off the play fake, here's Farr. This ball taken in here by Brooks. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. A very solid gain of 27. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll bring a tight end in motion right. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. If you're going to keep these guys out of the end zone, you've got to be able to commit to stopping the run. And that's a nice job there, getting the safeties involved in run support. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Throwing is far. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Packers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. They got to love that. Nine-play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And Hall not going to bring this one out. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And when you think of Patrick Mahomes, you start to think about all of his attributes and you realize very quickly, you can't just put him into one box. No matter how the game proceeds, no matter what is needed, he tends to have an answer for it and plays accordingly. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. On target over the middle to Hill. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Really a solid start here on the opening drive, Charles. He's now 4-4, and they're already in plus territory. Brandon, he's been so precise to start this game. Like we're watching an operation taking place right now. Master Surgeon at work. Good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. That good for 19 and a first down. That time, a little misdirection really seemed to fool the defense. And think of it this way. From the time you're in high school, you're taught to watch film and pick up tendencies. Sometimes they can use those against you, though, when they break their own tendencies 
and hit you back the opposite direction, huh? Mahomes now on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. To throw, it's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. It's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now a give inside for Okoye. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. Now Mahomes. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. The tight end Kelsey has it over the middle. Five yards, now it's third and five. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of cover. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City from 13 yards out. And the Chiefs are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. Here's Favre to throw. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over in that time, and it's going to lead to third down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. To throw is Favre. And this pass broken up. 
Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense and completely shut them down to force a three and out. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. That's pulled in at the 32. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. Man, confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. On first down, Mahomes, it's Hill, complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Here's a second and three now from the 33. On play action, it's Mahomes. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. And it's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Mahomes to throw once more. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to seven. So that drive, four plays, and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Favre. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Favre. That is caught. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Pardon me, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. First and ten, it's far. And he will find his man on the outside. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he gets it all the way down to the three. A big play there on the catch and run. 55 yards. A oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line. He provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they'll see what they can do on third and goal. down to the two-yard line. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. So on now for the Packers is their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Crosby is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that proof of vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you're running, don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. No run back here for Hall, and this will come out to the 25. Out comes Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs offense. He's got two touchdown passes on his first two drives, and he'll try again here on drive three. Now Mahomes. Over the middle, it's Holmes. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available in incompletion as a result. Heavy set out there on third and one. Up the middle they run, Okoye, and he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the B-feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short, and yes, they were rewarded 
with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Well, we got beef eaters licking their chops and tasty dish in one fell swoop. I did apologize in advance, didn't I? Yeah, you did. That line's not eating tofu, I'll tell you that much for free. This is taken at the 18. 45 yards, that's what the punt goes for. Five on the return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. On second down now, it's green, and not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, four C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. From the shotgun, it's Favre. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. On now is the Packers punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. 51 yards on the punt there. And they will take over first and 10. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Here's second and 10. Here's Mahomes to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this ball and get the series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Mahomes now to throw. And that is incomplete. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know. Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Now they'll throw on first down with Favre. Over the middle, that's caught by Adams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a second and two. They'll drop the throw. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Well, he's been a busy man in this first half. They've targeted him quite a bit, including both plays here to start this drive. And until that defense starts reacting a little better, they may just keep going back to him. On first down, far. It's caught inside the 25. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 
And that one results in 35 yards. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process. And really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. From the gun, it's far. Oh, and this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs. But in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now a handoff up the middle. Green. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Packers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Play action. It's far. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. A big loss there of about seven yards on first and goal, so now it's second down. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak, no running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are able to move back in front. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Crosby connects on the extra point, and it's now 17-14. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He is just not at his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. Second and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Oh, he went that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. It's Kelsey on the ground. Well, almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. 
Yeah, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Off the play fake, here's far. That one in the hands of Adams downfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. Up the middle they go. Green. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut it down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. It's green. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Throwing is far. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is going to have a Packers first down. At least it appears that way. And he got it by maybe the length of a football. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one. Wound up hitting him for a first down. Five throw taken in by Adams. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. First down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. From the 25, here's a second and nine. Now a give, right side. It's green. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 51 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are able to widen their advantage. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. No matter who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Extra point try now for Crosby. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And the result, a Green Bay score. For the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. 
And Hall not going to bring this one out. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Seven yards there and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw, it's Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Mahomes complete to his tight end. It's Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now it's Mahomes again. Officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Gets this one to Hill. On the move past the 40, and finally taken down at the 34. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Mahomes throw caught here by Taylor. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. That one goes for 30 yards. Now, we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go Band of Brothers' thought process. No one left behind, no pointing fingers, no accusations, because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter, and there's a ways to go in this game. But that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. And his kick is right there. It's good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So a late three there, and that'll help as they head into the break. Talk about situational football and something they've worked on since the OTAs and mini camps the previous summer. They take care of the ball, get three points, knowing they're going to get the ball to start the second half. That's the old two-for-one special to finish things off. Yeah. 
So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. these offenses have been in fine form what will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three no run back here for Hall and this will come out to the 25 the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three well Charles we saw a pretty entertaining first half close ball game remember there toward the end of the second quarter the opposition scored to need now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead yeah they want to have that type of a response don't they because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time gauntlet's been thrown down they want to see if they're ready to answer it they'll come up now second and four from the 31 They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's been a rough go on the ground throughout the entire game, but after a run like that, they may have found the spark to get their offense kick-started. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run again with Okoye. get this one across the 45 before he's brought down 44 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point well they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense but i gotta tell you to watch them run the football and successfully i'm not taking sides but to see the ball in a running back's hands oh that's football for me they'll get this out wide to taylor the ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. Can almost see inside his face mask there, the look <laughs> of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone that one good for 12 yards in a kansas city first not too shabby for his first carry of the game that's exactly what most teams are looking for a really good change of pace back and here's a handoff out of the gun this will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Second and five. Now here's Mahomes. Throw left side complete. That's Gonzalez. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. A 
17-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. Now for the point after. And that will tie our game here in the third quarter. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. They'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. This second and four. Now a handoff up the middle. It's green. And this will be a Packers first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get this to the 32. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now far. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Adams. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. His big game continues. Ten catches now and another first down. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, Two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. First and ten, it's far. He's got his tight end on the corner round. It's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 26-yard line. Now a give right side. It's green. He'll take it inside the 25. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, that was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Here's Favre to throw. He's got his touch. 
target. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. Second and six from 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Favre. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Now Mason Crosby for the Packers field goal try. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Crosby is good, and they have regained the lead. So a response there to the touchdown of the opening drive of this third quarter as they're able to reclaim the lead. And I think you'll take that because obviously you'd like to be able to match them touchdown for touchdown, but the first order of business was to get the lead back, and they've done that. Now you want to give a good pep talk to your defense to take it from there. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. Here comes Hall. He's going to bring it out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. Mahomes now on first down. Got a man complete, it's Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 33 yards that time. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Mahomes. Incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and 10 coming up. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. This is caught. Touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs have retaken a third quarter lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Extra point forthcoming. Get him, get him. 
And that will make this a four-point game. A drive there of just four plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. From the shotgun, it's far. And that's going to be incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. Now they face a third and ten after back to back incompletions. To throw is far. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense got it. They were already within the shadow of the goalposts. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. On now is the Packers punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. The Chiefs offense set to go. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it? As much fun as they're having right now, they're locked in, really clicking on all cylinders. They also know that they ever miss a chance to put points on the board, they've actually put their team in jeopardy. And that's not how you want to play the game. It's supposed to be complementary football, offense, defense. But today, it's all offense for them. Yeah, they've been playing with a sense of urgency. It's probably going to need to continue. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Mahomes now to throw. Open man is Hill. He's got it. Yeah, they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and ten. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher if guys trying to get to the football. And he will be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. 
One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they get it rather easily there. A gain of nine on fourth and three. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. They go play fake. Mahomes. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try to mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now is second and ten. They run the toss here to Okoye. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 75 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. As I take a look at the clock, I realize that this drive has eaten up a good portion of the fourth quarter already. Got to tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed to look like. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Looking to throw is Mahomes toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. <laughs> you get five, that's a whale of a game. Johnson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Now the try here for the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that one a pretty time consuming 10 play drive and it ends with a one yard touchdown run. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline and now they have to try and battle back from a two score deficit. On first down, Favre. That's complete to Sharp. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Uh, they'll throw on first down with Favre. And that's complete to Adams. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Throwing is far. This ball taken in here by Brooks. 
And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something, and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Only able to gain a couple there at its second down. Play action. It's far. That is caught at the seven. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. A terrible spot for a holding call as they'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He'll find driver here. They make a good bit of that yardage back as they're set up in much better shape now for second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Man, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. The kick by Crosby is good, and that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And Hall not going to bring this one out. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. Mahomes now on first down. 
And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. He found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Carson. They get 15, but they still needed a little bit more. Fourth down. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on the offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. A great play there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. But well, that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is up to 15 now. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he returns this to the 22. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punt. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. To look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. 
And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. Yeah, he's got it. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had the play call on fourth and goal, but it's dropped in the end zone. And the Packer defense stands tall down by the goal line. So the Packers down by 15. 2.09 to play. They'll have one play, maybe two, before the two-minute warning as they've got a first down. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. Here's Farb to throw. And he is caught, and he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Well, they're not going to go quietly. That's a big play right there. Two scores down. They're not out of this, but they've got to move. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Favre. Looking left, and now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had it, they having had it. to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, didn't get it done, and now you look at the situation and the point differential, two scores, pretty much game, set, match. How about the takeaway, though, huh? How about those defensive guys? And the Chiefs now getting set to go. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. They'll come up first and ten here. Now he'll escape to his right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. 
haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. First and 10, it's far. He's gonna leave this for his running back, it's complete. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. A little less than 40 seconds remaining. Here comes second and 10. To throw is far. That is incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. And now a tough spot here. This is third and 10. Now far. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now he steps away, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. And he'll be brought down with a penalty flag on the field. It was a late decision to throw, and it might have been too late. Yeah, we kind of sensed that one. He got a little too far forward before throwing, and that one will set them back. And remember, at the NFL level, being aware of where the line of scrimmage is is crucial. And here's the other part. Any part of the quarterback's body that's near that line of scrimmage, he's going to get the benefit of the doubt. So he was clearly over the line. Here's a second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Here's Holmes. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. Well, partner, under the lights in primetime, this offense, they gave the nation quite a show, putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them. And, Brandon, I think it's as simple as this. Some players, some teams, they're just meant for the big stage. And when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly, they show up and they show out. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Lambeau, good night, everybody.